Hey everybody, welcome to Collins Creatures. Today I am at the New York Metro Reptile Expo in White Plain, Plains, New York, and this is a Sumatran short-tailed python. This one was line bred to appear this way. This is not a morph. It is similar to how the black night leopard gecko was line bred to become black. And you can actually still kind of see some of the pattern on this one, but it's very dark and it's really awesome looking. And this place is really big. Not only is there a um, basketball arena with a stage, but there's also another annex with other vendors and animals. So I'm going to check out the show and see all the really awesome animals that I can find. Kimberly rock monitors are one of the Australian dwarf species of monitor lizards. This Colombian rainbow boa is anarthristic, meaning that it lacks all of its red pigment. This is an albino pink-bellied side neck turtle. This is an Australian species of turtle. It's normally black with its pink belly, but it's albino, so it looks very pink, and the blue light lighting of the stage makes it look even more pink. So this is the belly, which looks almost orange pink now, and it's just a really awesome looking turtle. And because of that, the albino pink-bellied side neck turtle is one of our featured creatures of the show. This is a cappuccino morph crested gecko and you cannot get it at Starbucks. This is a fire-like tarantula and the hairs on its legs make it look like it's on fire even more. This is a green tree python. Green tree pythons are a python species from Oceania and Southeast Asia. And this one is a juvenile because of its yellow color and why it's not green. And as it ages, it'll gain more and more green color until eventually all the yellow is gone 
and it will be a bright emerald green. And they are commonly confused with the emerald tree ball, but that snake is completely unrelated. And because of the way they sit like this, they make excellent display animals. In fact, if I came back a couple hours later, it will be sitting like this in the exact same spot. And because of that, the green tree python is one of our featured creatures of the show. This is a pair of rare Spencer monitors. This rough scale sand boa will make a unique alternative to the Kenyan sand boa. Emily and Ed from Snake Discovery, and they have a massive YouTube channel, and they are really awesome people. So, Emily and Ed, are you enjoying the show today? We are, yeah. This is our first time in New York at all. We just needed an excuse to come here, so the cool. show was perfect. <laughs> So, are you, did you pick up any animals um, today? No, we, eat, we have goodies, but we can't get any animals because we flew. So, uh, makes there's sense. a lot of temptations. Like, if we could buy animals, we would have had probably a half a dozen in this bag right now. Because makes there's sense. nice hog noses and bull snakes here, but that's okay. It's fun just to look. And I know that you have a facility out in Wisconsin. Yeah. So, if I came out there, it would be cool to have like a video with you guys. That would be fun, yeah. So, we live in Wisconsin, and our shop is like right across the border in Minnesota. Uh, so, Minnesota. we would love to see you there. And All right. you can meet Rex in person. And that'd yeah, that would be, be cool. a fun time. That would be really cool. <laughs> yeah. So, thanks for putting me in my video. And because they're such awesome people, Emily and Ed are the, <laughs> I almost said craziest. <laughs> are featured other creatures of the show. We're honored, thank you. <laughs> Instead of getting a morphed boa, you can get a locality boa constrictor. These baby tegos are like yin and yang. Both have dark, both have light, but they are both completely different from each other. This is a masked tree frog. They are a Central American species of tree frog, and I picked it because they have brown markings by their eyes, which is their mask. And they also have these really cool patterns, and every frog has a different pattern. And because of those reasons, the masked tree frog is one of our featured creatures of the show.
You already lost your tail, buddy. If you keep this up, you'll lose something else. This is my buddy Dan with his Chinese water drum. This is a lima snail. They are a snail species from Puerto Rico, and they are a kind of garden snail. And unlike other kinds of garden snails, they like to eat orange vegetables like pumpkin and squash, and they like it a bit mushy, so leave it out for a few days. And unlike other kinds of garden snails, their shell is actually te textured and has lots of little tiny bumps on it because they're a really interesting little mollusk. The Lima snail is one of our featured creatures of the show. These are beautiful snakes, but can sometimes have a beastly attitude, so they are beauty and the beast. You have heard of the Black Dragon Monitor Lizard. You may have heard of the Black Dragon Battlebot, but have you heard of the Black Bearded Dragon? This is a knob-tailed gecko, more specifically a Nefaris wheelerii cinctus. They are an Australian species of gecko and are really unique because of their short stubby knob tail and this one has some really cool bumps all over its body. This one is a male because of its brighter coloration, but the females are bigger than the males. And they are a desert dwelling species since they're from Australia and live on sand in really hot environments. And they're just really awesome and interesting looking little lizards. And because of that, the, the Ferris Wheelerai Cinctus knob tailed gecko is one of our featured creatures of the show. Green iguanas can come in many colors, but albinism in green iguanas is extremely rare.
Variable king snakes are called variable because they come in many natural phases. These are two of them. This is an inland carpet python, or Morelia sploda metcalfi. I had a great time at the New York Metro Reptile Expo, and I saw lots of really awesome animals. And if you come here, make sure to check out their annex. And I would like to once again thank Emily and Ed from Snake Discovery for appearing in my video. So thanks for watching, subscribe to my channel, like my videos, and I'll see you next time on Collins Creatures.